Covering life that is Gulf Coast State College, this is GC Wired News. Hello everyone and welcome to GC Wired News. I'm Ray Schofield. And I'm Angel Minear. A clear sign that school is underway is student government kicking off their weekly meetings. September 4th was the first SGA meeting for the semester and while things were kept formal, some decisions were made about changes to the student government meeting dates and the new constitution. Students still meet every Tuesday, but one week will be for voting issues, and the next week will be for committees to meet at 1245. Officials say this will give members at large and also club representatives an opportunity to take part in committees, which is a requirement for all members. Tuesday, September 11th, the student government will meet in the boardroom to discuss the structure of the committees that SGA members can join. And we're doing that so that you guys can make better choices and better options about where your skills will fit in with our mission, basically. So next week's meeting will be in here, but it will be a committee meeting, and we'll be discussing the different committees that we have available for you to participate in. If you would like to learn more about joining student government, you can stop by their office located in the cafeteria. During each board meeting, the student government invites a guest speaker to address the SGA board about an upcoming event or to encourage involvement with local organizations. At last week's SGA meeting, Linda Cope with the Warrior Beach Retreat spoke to the board about their organization, which is a local nonprofit that helps wounded soldiers and their families by providing them special retreats throughout the year to honor their sacrifices. She spoke about their upcoming fall retreat in which a number of veterans and their families will be here in Panama City to enjoy a weekend of fishing or other activities. Two events she hopes everyone can attend is one welcoming these soldiers into town by aligning Gulf Coast State College and Hathaway Bridge between 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Thursday, followed by the opening ceremonies at the Marina Civic Center in downtown Panama City at 7 p.m. Yes, line the street starting at 4.30 and leaving the Grand Panama. Going all the way, we'll be coming right in front of the college. So pack it out, spread the word. But we as a nation need to get back to these men. We need to let them know you're not forgotten. And we appreciate your service and sacrifice. If you would like more information, you can check out their website at www.warriorbeachretreat.org. While it may not be possible yet to visit colleges and universities around the country in one night, on September 13th, Gulf Coast State College is bringing almost 60 colleges and universities under one roof. This free event will give people the chance to talk to representatives from almost 60 colleges and universities to explore transfer programs, advanced degrees, and even discover new opportunities here at Gulf Coast State College. The event kicks off Thursday, September 13th from 6, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The event is free and open to the public. Coming up next, we check in with GCUR's Joshua Sandler about this semester's first club fair. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities, GCYNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community, GCYNews.com. Gulf Coast State College presents College Night, Thursday, September 13th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Panama City Campus Student Union East Building. Join us at 50 colleges and universities on one campus, including an entire floor of exhibits from your own Gulf Coast State College. Explore transfer programs, advanced degrees, or discover opportunities right here at Gulf Coast State College. Join us September 13th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Panama City Campus Student Union East Building. The event is free and open to the public. The most important thing to have during the hurricane season is a hurricane supply kit. Plan ahead. Keep at least a three-day supply of water and store one gallon per person per day. Only purchase non-perishable and canned foods and ready-to-eat items. You will need a first aid kit that is also prepared, have an LED flashlight, and a battery-powered radio. Preparing for the storm now will keep you and your family safe later. For more information, visit hurricanesafety.org. Hey! I gotta stop doing this with paper. If 
you and your family choose to evacuate, or if a mandatory evacuation is issued by officials, plan to take the closest route from your home and do not wait. The longer you wait, the harder it will be to find hotels and to get out of the path of the storm. Leaving as soon as possible will also allow you to avoid heavy traffic, flooded roads, and closed bridges. Preparing for the storm now will keep you and your family safe later. For more information, visit hurricanesafety.org. After what you could call a rain delay, student government kicked off the semester's first club fair. Students were given the opportunity to check out these new clubs and find out how they can join. In addition, students were also given the opportunity to register to win a Samsung Smart Pad after visiting most of these clubs. GC Wire's Joshua Sandler spoke to students and club representatives about this event. Hi, I'm Joshua Sandler here at Club Fair 2012 at Gulf Coast State College. I'm here with Mr. Scott Moore. So, so Scott, how are you liking Club Fair this year? It, it's pretty interesting. Kind of loud though. Yeah, that's some of the stuff over there. Which clubs are you most interested in here at Gulf Coast? Uh, CFI, Spike Soup, among others. Yeah. How important would you say clubs are to Gulf Coast State College? They definitely help out. Definitely I mean, out. because if without them, you know, people would come here to take class to be really bored. My name's Aaron. And what do you do here, Mr. Aaron? Uh, I'm part of SGA and I'm part of Tech Club. Oh, what are the, what's SGA and what's Tech Club? SGA is your uh, student government association. We, make, we put on great events like this. Uh, tech Club pretty much does anything uh, tech related. Technology, engineering, all of that. And if someone's interested in joining Tech Club or getting more information, how would they do so? They will find any one of our members, either in SGA, or going to uh, Guy Garrett. Hi, I'm here with Miss Isabel Law. Hello there and thank you. And what are you representing here? Today I am representing Model UN. It is a club, well it's not actually a club, it's a class um, that's offered once in the fall semester. Um, and we go to the Southeastern Conference in Atlanta for three days at the end of the semester and uh, act out a real United Nations conference um, Scene. Uh, this year we're Switzerland and we'll go with a hundred other schools all together that are all different countries. And it's three days of debates and politics. Is it fun? It's a lot of fun, yeah. I'm about to give a presentation on uh, the history of the Swiss French. So. It sounds like a lot of good <laughs> stuff there. And if someone was, is this for anybody or? Yeah, no, it's for anyone. We have, um, I'm personally an international relations major, um, but there's somebody who's a uh, nursing major, and she is going to learn more about international politics regarding healthcare um, and uh, just health, all of international health. Um, and an engineer could do it, somebody who wants to learn about engineering and in the world. Something for everybody. Yeah. And if someone's interested in joining? Um, all you have to do is go talk to Dr. Fisting um, in the social science building and he, uh, he will get you set up so that next fall semester you know kind of the process, yeah. And I'm here with Mr. Justin. Hello there, Justin. Nice to meet you. Hi. And what rep organization are you representing today? The CFI Center for Inquiry. Oh, and what do you guys do? Basically, we get together and we discuss topics of importance like, say, politics or science and we get together and discuss those and sometimes it's heated debates sometimes it's not and, and if someone's interested in joining where do you guys meet we meet in the um, social sciences building usually in the conference room over there or in um, professor Baldwin's room which I think is 105 or 106 I'm here with miss Stephanie Crossan. <laughs> thank you Stephanie and what organization are you with today? I'm with the Student Government Association. I'm a vice president of Student Life. I plan all the events and everything that goes on here. So what does Student Government do here at Gulf Coast State College? Student Government does a lot of things. We provide events like this where we give out free food and smoothies, things like that. But we also have a more governmental side where you can come and um, discuss any problems that you have at our tri-college meetings too. So we, we kind of encompass everything that you need as a student. And what do you do as vice president? 
Um, right now, I um, generally plan events, like things like today, the club fair, I help set this up. Um, our free food events, I help plan those, make sure that they go smoothly and make sure that all the students get what they want. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it is. What kind of students would be interested in government? Anybody, really. It's not just for students with government-based um, degrees. It's for everybody because if you like to get involved and have fun, make new friends, it's a great thing to do. Sounds like a lot of fun. And if somebody's interested in joining the student government, how would they go about doing so? Come over to the cafeteria, go by the ATM, walk through our door, and get an <laughs> application. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. You too. Look forward to see you and the student government here on campus. If you missed this opportunity to check out some of the clubs on campus, don't worry. Student government is planning to host another club fair on Wednesday, September 20th in the cafeteria. Thanks to all who stopped by to visit the booths, including Spike Suit Productions. If you would like to learn more about any of these clubs on campus, you can stop by the student government office in the cafeteria. And thanks for watching this week's edition of GC Wired News. Remember, you can find us online 24-7 at gcwirednews.com or like us on Facebook at Spike Suit Productions. One more thing before we say goodbye. Back in the spring of 2009, a number of Gulf Coast State College students went to New York City as a part of a spring break trip sponsored by the student government and one of the sites they visited was World Trade Center. Since this week, many of us will be remembering where we all were some 11 years ago on that tragic day, September 11, 2001. We wanted to end our show with some video of two students who we spoke with about where they were that day. I think, I think the whole world stopped for about a week because we, everybody was glued to their TVs. We couldn't believe it was happening because nobody would think that would happen to America. Gulf Coast State College presents College Night, Thursday, September 13th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Panama City Campus Student Union East Building. Join us at 50 colleges and universities on one campus, including an entire floor of exhibits from your own Gulf Coast State College. Explore transfer programs, advanced degrees, or discover opportunities right here at Gulf Coast State College. Join us September 13th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Panama City Campus Student Union East Building. The event is free and open to the public. 2012 will mark the fifth year that Spike Suit Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major and whether or not you prefer to be on camera behind it. 
You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123, or next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com.